What is up YouTube? This is Zach with Dream Media Home Theater. If you guys aren't subscribed to the channel already, make sure you smash that subscribe button down below and give me a big thumbs up on this video. Today, I am sitting in a theater room in Manassas, Virginia, and we're gonna be calibrating a 7.2.4 Dolby Atmos system. And I wanted to walk you guys through the calibration process with the Denon AVR, but also point out one little, uh, feature that I've never shown in any of my videos and that's what do you do whenever your ABR is in the other room in a closet and the mic is only like a 12 foot cable how do you calibrate it so the fix is just ordering an extension cable so right here and I'll show you the rest in just a second after the intro now, if you guys would like to purchase anything home theater related, we are your nationwide supplier. We have the guaranteed lowest prices with nationwide free shipping. We would love the opportunity to earn your business. So reach out and show your support and utilize our free design service. But this video, I'm just gonna highlight calibrating a Focal 724 and showing you this extension cable. So let's get into it. All right, guys, so whenever you are um, going to calibrate your Denon AVR, it actually comes with this little stand. And what that's for is so that you can get your microphone, this guy right here, this is actually measuring the speaker's uh, distance, setting crossovers, things like that. You can get it at the correct height. So what we're gonna be doing is putting this in the primary seating area over here. And in just a second, I'll put it at ear level and then you're gonna move it between the different seats in the room. Um, but the, this issue of the equipment being far away is a common problem. So you just get a 3.5 extension cable like this, plug it in here, and then run it all the way back to the AV rack in here. And you plug it in right into the mic port. Here, setup mic. And this is the Denon 6700. Um, we have other AVRs as well, but Denon and Marantz are kind of our favorite. Uh, they really perform well for the money. Now, this is a strong FS series rack. I made a whole video on walking you through this setup. We sell the rack, surge protection, everything you need, universal remotes, the whole nine yards. But yeah, that's pretty cool. So now when you plug it in, this is what you're gonna see on the screen is the setup. And I'm gonna walk you through just step-by-step step doing this. But a 7.2.4, a proper 7.2.4 is set up exactly as you see here. You got front left, front right, center, and then you got surround left and right, well, left and right, that surround rear left and right. And then your overhead Atmos, which, if you have two rows of seating, you want them right over each row. In this situation, he just has one row of seating, so it's top mid and top rear. So you're gonna hear the helicopter ripping around above you, and then you're gonna hear the car screeching around the corner here. Now you got one sub in the rear of the room and one sub at the front of the room, giving you really nice dispersion of that low frequency audio. All right, guys, so I'm gonna adjust this to ear level. And then we are going to hit start. Um, now, if you need to, let me show you real quick. It's probably not gonna be set up immediately for 724 whenever you go to calibrate it. So you'll have to go to amp assign. And then you have a bunch of different ways that you can configure this. Now, the Denon 6700, this year's model, is actually a 13 one channel processor. So if you wanted to, you could get a, a second two channel amp and run a 7.2.6 Atmos system or a 9.2.4 if you had a really long room and multiple seating areas. So um, th this amp has a lot of different ways you can figure it. As an example, um, you can even do a 7.1 and then run two other zones. Like your, you know, you could have a patio out here running some uh, outdoor speakers and then 
maybe uh, uh, another pair of speakers over this uh, sitting area back here at the rear of the room. So a lot of options available. You can even just run a 5.1 in you know, many other zones. So, uh, or a nine channel and uh, two more uh, speakers, uh, one more stereo zone. So um, many different ways to configure it. But Dolby Atmos is our best selling configuration and 724 is, is without a doubt in 2021 our best seller for the money. So we're gonna go back. This is a Harmony Pro. We sell this too. If uh, you don't, you need a solution for that. We gotta be covered there too. But we're gonna go ahead and hit start in just a minute. I just need to adjust that. So hang with me guys. All right, let's go ahead and start this up. So you can see they show that you can use a you know, solid one or the paper one that comes with it. Plug it into the front of the AVR like we just discussed. Power on your subwoofers. And then you're gonna run calibration on all your primary seats. In this situation, we just got three right there. Number one is gonna be right in the center of the seating area. And it's as simple as just letting it run. I'll show you a couple little pro tips, things that I like to tweak after I run this. All right, so you want a, a, a good base to start with. So they're gonna have us turn down the subs and then the calibration, the LFE output will actually assign more power to the subs as necessary. So that's the initial test, basically just confirming that all of the connections are correct and that all of the speakers are in the correct locations. This room is perfect to spec. You can see just as illustrated in this Dolby Atmos configuration representation here, this room is exactly as it should be. All the surrounds at your level and you have your Atmos directly above your head, right behind and right in front, right over that primary seating area. So now we're gonna run the same thing in seating position two, three, and so on. So I don't think you guys need to sit here and watch me run those, but after I'm done running the other seating areas, I'll show you what other, some other little things you can tweak to really maximize the potential of the system and things that I recommend you check based off of the DIN and ADR. All right guys, so just completed the Odyssey setup and I wanna take you into the manual setup so you can see some of the things that uh, were accomplished during that um, Odyssey test. So when you go into distances, what that did was figure out exactly how far away everything is and is recording that information. Whoop. And then it's also doing levels. So like it's assigning the appropriate amount of output power to each of these speakers. And you can see it makes sense based off of where the speakers are in the room and the measurement that the Odyssey recording. Now, some of these things are personal preference. So this is where I was going to give you guys a couple little uh, pointers or advice, personal preference things. I would say 
dialogue is a huge issue for a lot of people. And a lot of the time, especially for my older clientele, I'll come in and just tweak the center speaker a little bit right off of the bat, um, just because I know um, if, if they have hard of hearing, it's, it's gonna be difficult. Um, even though the Odyssey probably did a great job, you're just gonna give it a couple decibel bump and it's going to make that audio come through stronger, which will make it sound cleaner in the high frequency for the dialogue, the center speaker specifically. When you're doing Dolby Atmos, 99% of the time your dialogue is coming out of that one speaker. So just give it a little, little bump. And then bass is personal preference. So one thing that I recommend is that you download the Den and ABR app and inside of the Den and ABR app under options, there is level calibration that won't change the level calibration of the uh, internal unit. It's something that you can just adjust on the fly and then default depending on the movie you're watching. So when I sit down with my wife, like I'm that guy that will play with the settings depending on the movie because every movie is a little bit different. So I'll sit there and tweak my center speaker, my subs, maybe the surrounds depending on the movie and then you can just default it back to what the Odyssey had originally programmed. Um, little pro tip there. Now, the other thing that I like to adjust is bass because the Odyssey doesn't adjust this. Um, it looks like the customer went in here earlier because normally the um, Den and ABR is default to just LFE. Now, if you do just LFE and you don't do LFE plus main, if you listen to all channel stereo through, you know, like you're listening to music in here, it's not gonna output uh, the bass through the subs. So you gotta select LFE plus main so that you, in all channel stereo when you're listening to music, get the full range of the, or the full capabilities of the, the system. Um, and th th those settings right there, in addition to running your Odyssey setup, for 99% of the people, you're gonna be satisfied. And anybody that does wanna go the extra mile, again, that Den and AVR app is awesome. Go into options and select level uh, calibration or speaker level, I think is what it's called in the app. And you can just play with it, you know, depending on your personal preference. Like some people really like those surround effects that come in extremely heavy and you can, you know, tweak that depending on the movie. Now you gotta be careful because you don't wanna overdo it to where it's gonna out your dialogue. So, but the app's the place to do that because you can just default it and you don't have to rerun the Odyssey setup all over again. All right guys, that is a wrap on the quick Odyssey setup, the extension cable for doing, uh, uh, calibrating your system when your rack's in another room. I hope you enjoyed this video and found it informative. If you would like to purchase anything home theater related, make sure to reach out and share your support. We have nationwide free shipping and the lowest price guaranteed on all the products we sell. And we have the industry leading products and um, we have a free design service as well. So feel free to utilize uh, our audio video consultants time and we will find something that fits your exact needs and budget. All that we ask is that you purchase from us. We also have a very extensive installer network. So say this isn't your cup of tea. You don't want to go through this whole headache of doing it yourself. We have five star rated pros that we believe in that we can recommend to you to complete these projects. And we're building that network up throughout the entire nation. We have uh, about uh, seven states right now, but we're gonna continue to grow that over the next couple years and deliver that five-star service matched with the best products in the industry. Really appreciate your support. If you like this video, give me a big thumbs up and make sure to smash that subscribe button down below for more. Till next time, this is Zach with Dream Media Home Theater. Thank you for watching.